start with a slip knot. Chain 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Slip stitch to join and form a ring. Carry the yarn end along the outside of the ring. Chain 1. Make 10 single crochet in the ring. 1, 2, 3. Okay, I have made my 10 single crochet in the ring. At the end of the row, slip stitch to join. Now I can pull that yarn end and close up the bottom of the bunny. Chain 1 and turn. Single crochet. Make another single crochet in the same stitch. Single crochet 1 in the next stitch and then single crochet 2 in the next stitch. 1 and 2. So 1 single crochet, 2 single crochet, 1 and 2. And repeat all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around. Slip stitch to join. Chain 1 and turn. And now I'm just going to single crochet one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And, and I'm going to continue to do that until the body of the bunny is as tall as I would like it to be. So go ahead, single crochet in each stitch around at the end of the row, slip stitch to join, and continue adding rows until the body is as tall as you would like. Okay, I worked all the way around that row, and at the end of the row I'm going to slip stitch to join. And you can see that it's already starting to cup up. So go ahead and repeat that and make as many rows as you would like. Okay, I have worked a total of 12 rows. You can work as many rows as you like to make your bunny taller or shorter. So now I'm going to reduce for the next. I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to reduce by pulling up a loop in the next stitch, pulling up a loop in the next stitch, and then completing my single crochet. So pull up a loop. Pull up a loop in the next stitch, complete the single crochet. You have to do that all the way around. Okay, I completed that row, and now I'm going to stop and stop the bunny before I continue on any further. Okay, I have all of the body stuffed. So now I'm just going to do another few rows for the neck. So I'm going to chain one and work in the other direction. Single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Slip stitch to join. And I'm going to do one more row. So chain one and turn. Single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, so I did that extra row and that's the neck. And now I'm going to increase for the head. So I'm going to chain one and turn. And I'm going to make two single crochet in each stitch around. So one and two. One and two. So repeat that all the way around. One, two. Okay, I worked all the way around and I slip stitch to join. And now I'm going to chain one and turn, and I'm going to single crochet in each stitch around, and then I'm going to repeat that and complete as many rows as I need for the head. So I'm going to go off camera and do that, and I'll come back and show you. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've done six rows plus the increase row, and then I stopped and stuffed the head. Now I'm going to decrease for the top of the head, so chain one and turn. And I'm going to decrease in the same manner, insert through the next stitch, insert through the next stitch, complete the single crochet. And I'm going to do that all the way around. Pull up a loop in the next stitch, pull up a loop in the next stitch, and complete the single crochet. Okay, I worked all the way around and I slip stitch to join and I'm going to fasten off. Thread the yarn end into a needle, weave through that last row of stitches and then pull to close up the top of the head like that and weave the yarn end into the finished work. 
and there's the body. I'll show you how to do the ears. Start with a slip knot, chain four, one, two, three, four. Single crochet in the second stitch from the hook and in each stitch of the chain. Chain one and turn. Single crochet in the two stitches across the row. Chain one and turn. Single crochet in the two stitches. I'm going to continue to do that until the ears are long enough. And that looks long enough. That was about nine rows. I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to slip stitch into the center stitch, fasten off. Thread that yarn end into a needle and weave the yarn end back into the finished work. I'm going to thread the other yarn end into a yarn needle and I'm going to sew the ear on the side of the bunny's head. Okay, I've gone ahead and finished the two ears. Okay, to make the shawl, I'm only going to work with one strand. Start with a slip knot, and I'm going to chain 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Single crochet in the second stitch from the hook, and in each stitch all the way across the chain. Like that. Chain one and turn, working in the back side of the stitch only, right here. Single crochet in each stitch all the way across. And now every row is going to be exactly the same. It will be chain one and turn, single crochet in each stitch across the row, working only in the back side of the stitch. So I've reached the end of the row, chain one and turn, single crochet in each stitch, working only in the back side of the stitch. And you're going to continue to do that until the little shawl is long enough to wrap around the bunny's body. Okay, I've gone ahead and finished the shawl and if you start and end on the same side you'll be able to use these to tie the shawl onto the rabbit. And To make a scarf you're going to do the same thing except only start with chain six. To do the facial features I'm going to use beads but for small children you should stitch these on with some black thread. So I'm just going to place them where I think that they'll go with pins just to test to make sure that I have a good placement like that. Now I can go ahead and sew those on. Now to put the shawl on you're simply going to wrap it around the bunny, use the two yarn ends and tie the shawl on like that. Or for a very easy scarf I took six strands of yarn and I tied knots on the end and now I can just wrap that around the bunny's neck and use that for a scarf. Like that. To add some pink cheeks and pink belly and ears, you can either use a crayon or a colored pencil or a marker. And I'm going to use some blush and a Q-tip. And I'll put some on the cheeks and on the ears and add some pink on the belly. Like that. And there you go. That's an easy Easter bunny that you can make. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.